Welcome back to Hucho's. Today on Hucho's, we're gonna have a look at the square pipe rain gutter grow system, including the hooch adapters and the hooch buckets, and a time lapse of pretty much the entire grow in the hooch bucket so far. I'm also gonna show you the new 3D printable end caps that I've made for the 100 by 50 millimeter square pipe that we have available in Australia. This is kind of a precursor video to the end caps I'm designing for the vinyl tubing that you have over in America, which is slightly differently sized. That video is coming up, and if you're watching this video a little bit after it was filmed, I'll put a link here for those systems. So first, I'll show you how to make the rain gutter grow system with the 3D printable caps. So here on Hucho's, we've built a lot of rain gutter grow systems, and all of these rain gutter grow systems have utilized standard off-the-shelf hardware items uh, that are available pretty much everywhere in the world. The pipe sizing can differ, but today I'm gonna to show you how to assemble one of these square pipe rain gutter grow systems uh, with the new end caps that I've made available for 3D printing so that you can eliminate about $20 worth of adapters and pieces and print your own at home uh, for about 80 grams worth of filament per piece. So you may have seen the float end design. Uh, this design has been available for a little while. And in the meantime, I've been trying to figure out the drain end design. I've moved away from threaded pieces uh, because not all people who are 3D printing will have the perfect settings for their print. So I've moved to an easier design for people to print in two parts for the drain end. Now the beauty of this design is that it just slides into one another. This is a barb for a standard 12 to 13 millimeter garden hose. So there's no expensive piping needed and you would just go ahead and silicon that part into place and it then becomes your drain hole. Now to this, you would add in a 13 millimeter barbed tap and then you'll be able to control the flow of the water when you want to drain out your rain gutter grow system. So I've made all of these prints available on my Patreon. There's also the hooch bucket prints on my Patreon as well. So you can utilize this style of pot. There's the hooch adapters for the larger 100 millimeter pipe. And I've also got hooch pot adapters for this square gutter piping that we'll be making today. So first of all, we're just gonna silicon on the ends. The reason I did this is to make it as simple as possible. We'll only be applying three beads of silicon. We'll be applying one to each end and one to connect the drain end together to give us a seal on our 3D print. So the first bead of silicon I'm gonna do is around the drain end. Uh, we're just going to put it where our print will come in contact with the PVC, just around the outside of this. I'm also going to bead some silicon to give us a seal when we push it in to our 3D print. So I'll seal this, like so. And now I can just join this to the end of my gutter, like so. So before I put this piece on, I'm actually going to go along and drill out all the holes uh, for this rain gutter grow system. The reason being is it's gonna be a lot easier to get circles of plastic out. Uh, if I've got the end off, I can just slide them out into a bin. So I'm gonna go along and make 63 millimeter hole saw holes. The reason I'm using 63 millimeters is because my net cup is 50 millimeters and I want to have some wiggle room to be able to pull these pots out. As you can see, I've widened the holes on these channels and it just gives me some room so that I don't shear off the roots every time I want to move the pots. 50 millimeter net cup, 64 millimeter hole saw. So I'm going to go 150 millimeters in and 350 millimeter spacing from then on. Let's mark it out. And now I'm just going to drill it out. Starting forwards, finish in reverse. I'm now just gonna measure up the float valve and we'll cut out the section where the float valve will sit. And again, I'm gonna silicon where the print meets the pipe. 
And then I'm just going to slide that onto the end. Okay, so it's been about a week since I siliconed the ends on and I've just been testing to see if there's any leaks. There haven't been any leaks, which has been fantastic. As you can see here, I've added in a 13 millimeter barbed tap and some 13 millimeter standard hose pipe. I've actually been waiting for more float valves to arrive in the mail. That's why it's been so long. But in the meantime, I've just been hand filling these rain gutter grow systems and I've only had to top these systems up once by hand. So these systems will work if you don't have access to float valves and you can just top them up with a watering can. So once you've made sure your system has no leaks, we can go ahead and connect up our float valve. It's just a matter of pushing it through the hole that's made by the 3D print and doing it up. We can now adjust a level on our float valve and we're ready to connect our hose to our reservoir. For this, I use these 13 millimeter barbed uh, female end screws. Just grab the ones that match your float valve thread and we just wrap our float valve thread with plumber's tape to start and then we can screw on a 30 millimeter barb. Like so. Then we can just connect up our piping from our reservoir and let the system fill. And now I'm gonna turn on the nutrient from the res. And as you can see, that's filling nicely. So right now I'm in the process of uh, designing a cover that will actually attach to a newer version of this, which will allow you to just flip it back to check on the level of your float and will also cover the nutrient solution from the sun. If you don't want to print the cover for this system, because uh, it will take up a little bit of extra filament, you can just use 100 millimeter pipe and I've just cut that pipe in half and cut a couple of notches out. And then you can just place that pipe over the square gutter system. This allows the float valve to work at the same time as protecting the nutrient from the sunlight. Okay, so there's obviously quite a lot going on here. There's multiple rain gutter grow systems of different types. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna take you through a time lapse of these rain gutter grow systems, the original ones with the hooch buckets, and then moving into these rain gutter grow systems, which have been set up for about seven days now. And we're gonna have a look at the growth in those systems, and we'll finish with the growth in the round pipe rain gutter grow system and how it's done so far over the last few weeks. Enjoy the time lapse. <laughs>
And there you have it. Just over three months worth of growth in the hooch bucket, square gutter, rain gutter grow system, and the plants are doing fantastically. The bell capsicums are fruiting heavily, and all the other plants in the system are having a fantastic time. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hoochos. Plenty more interesting content to come, so if you liked it, hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe so you get notifications when I upload videos. Happy hydroponicking. And I'll see you next time on Who Chose.